So in this video, we're going to talk about uh, creating custom objects. So up until now, we've worked with different Ruby objects like strings, uh, fixed nums, arrays, and hashes. But there's a way, and you know, as we've seen, those objects all have different uh, functionality. So if we type IRB, we go into um, we go in and create a string and type methods. This is the different functionality that's provided to us by a string. Command K to get out of that. And um, so we can create custom objects that have certain functionality as well. And these are going to be objects that we define and they're going to have a class and then they're going to you know as we progress they're going to have different functionality that we define as well and custom objects give you a great way to organize your code you know especially as your programs that you continue to create get longer and longer um, so let's just go over into into um, our text editor and start creating a Ruby program with custom objects. So, doo -doo 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 -doo. actually, let's create the new file, new touch Ruby uh, creating objects. Actually, we're not going to do this. We're going to do it a different way. We're going to call it, uh, let's just call it candle.rb. And so what candle is going to be, candle is going to be the name of our class, but you'll see that in a second. So if we go to candle.rb and we type class candle and then end, you can see that we define a new class by typing lowercase class, first letter uppercase, and then the rest of the word lowercase, um, you know, for candle. Now this could have been anything. It could have been uh, dog. It could have been, you know, picture. But you will always define it with an uppercase letter to start, and class always being lowercase. And by Ruby convention, you will name your files after your class, and you know, again with Ruby convention, the name of your file is going to be lowercase. So, um, you know, that might be a little bit confusing, but it's just how it's done in Ruby. And so let's go back to our class candle. And now we have our class. And we can do different things with this class. But we're going to save that for next video. But let me just show you how you create a new object. Um, from candle. So if we go back into IRB and we know how to create a new string object, we just did that before, right? Two quotation marks and then this is a string. And then we do dot class and we see that's a string. Now we enter a fix them dot class we see it's a fix them. Enter an empty array dot class. It's an array. Now, if we, you know, same thing with a hash dot class. It's a hash. Now, if we wanted to, we can find out, or we can create an object from our candle class, and then find out what class that's a part of, which we expect it to be a part of the camp class. So to create that new object, what we do is we first need to load our file because right now in IRB, IRB is currently familiar with all the lang or all the rules um, of the Ruby language that are inherent in Ruby, but it is not familiar with our new dog class just yet. So we need to tell it about that. 
no way we do that because we're calling load and then uh, candle dot rb and now that we have candle dot rb loaded you can see the true output means that it loaded okay we can say candle dot new and we get back this candle object. So this is uh, this is just uh, the placeholder for um, the name of the object. But uh, you know we can actually do different things to this object now. We can now see what uh, class a different object is a part of. So if we do x equals candle dot new, and then we do x dot class we now have the class of candle so you can also see that every time you create a new object it gives you a new you know output like this this junk that you know we're gonna make sense of later on um, but it's just telling you hey now you have a new candle object that you can do different things with and in the next video we are going to define the different uh, different methods within this class so that you can actually do more than just have the object itself. That is how you create new objects in Ruby.